let's jump right in. The first project is going to start with a mix between vintage linen and cherry picked two DIY paint colors. I'm trying to make this gorgeous lavender that I ended up with, which was amazing. And we're going to use that on a project that I had done before and now I'm redoing. So this stool was painted in water lily about a year ago. It was sealed up. It had been distressed because the wood underneath was a dark cherry wood. And now I want to lighten it up and change it up for this year. I am painting it with that lavender color that we had mixed, that custom color. And now I'm distressing it back to bring back some of that water lily that's um, underneath. Once that's done, I'm taking this set of transfers that I have. I They have been in my stash for over a year. I actually do not remember where they came from or what brand. I will try to find that and leave it in the description box. But I am going to be placing these gorgeous florals all over this piece. I'm taking bits and pieces. There are some larger flowers, some that are small leaves, and just finding random places to place it on the stool. finish with all the transfers I do seal up this project with two coats of Big Top by DIY and then we are going to take a look at our finished project. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this better than the original water lily that was on there? For our next project, we're starting off with these three pieces of salvaged wood and I am actually starting by screwing in the hooks on the back that will be used because I'm going to be using this for wall decor. So I'm only going to show you how I made one of them, but I did do the same thing three times. I have these uh, ceramic hearts that I found at the thrift store and they were 66 cents, but I got them on sale. It was, uh, I think it ended up being 44 cents and I'm painting them all white. It took multiple coats of paint to hide the flowers and I am gluing them now to the salvaged wood. I will say that you see me using tight bond quick and thick. It did not stick, so I ended up using Gorilla Glue um, to glue them on. Once I had the heart glued on and the hanger screwed in, I am using a stamp from um, IOD and stamping on these cute flowers just on one side of that heart. next project started a long time ago. A few months ago a friend of mine gave me this box. I had switched out the knob that's on the top and set it off to the side and now we're going to actually work on this project. I started off by painting this box with two coats of white paint. I can't remember the paint that I used. It looked like it looks like it probably was Dixie Bell's Endless Shore uh, mineral paint. So I'm gonna paint this up all the sides, including the feet. Thank you. 
Now I'm using the brand new Verity IOD mold and I cast the leaves the, from this, the larger leaves from this mold with uh, the 10 minute resin, but I pulled it out when it was still, the resin was still moldable, so it hadn't hardened completely. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing it into the box and really as that hardens up, that is enough for it to stay on the box. So you're, I didn't need any glue. I think I might've glued just one part where there was a little bit of a uh, gap between the mold and the box. But other than that, everything stayed very nicely. Now I'm going in and mixing a blend between Vintage Linen, Beadboard, and Gypsy Green by DIY Paint, and I'm making this custom color to paint the entire box. Here I'm painting up these butterflies with a mix between cowgirl coral and vintage linen and I will say that after showing you guys what that looks like, um, that is cowgirl coral by itself and then one with a lighter version, I ended up um, changing the pink altogether and I am using rose water which was from Fusion and I had lightened that up with some of Casement by Fusion. Here are those finished butterflies and I am gluing them on using some tight bond quick and thick to our box. I'm placing them in a variety of different places all over the box. I wanted each side to have a pop of color but I wanted them to all look unique. So um, we will finish that up and then move on to our next step. the box with some clear spray by Rust-Oleum to seal it then I use some clear wax and now what you see me doing is getting some white wax into those details I'm actually going to rub the white wax all over the box and then wipe back the excess so you can see those um, details come through on each of the molds and here is a look at our finished project. I really love how that pink came out and I'm also in love with that custom green color. For our next project, I have this little wood tray that I got at the thrift store for about 50 cents. I didn't get this on camera, but I did glue four wooden spindles to the bottom of the tray to raise it a little bit. I'm painting it with several coats. I think it took three coats of Victorian Lace by Fusion, and that's an all-in-one mineral paint. Once that was complete, I took Cast Iron by Fusion, again that's an all-in-one mineral paint, and I am painting those four little feet with that black.
Now I'm taking the rabbit stamp by IOD in the farm animal set and stamping it in the middle of the tray. The last step is to take some of that cast iron paint and I'm going to be painting the edges of the tray all the way around just to give it that finishing touch. And here's a look at our finished project. For our next project, I'm going to be upcycling these three vintage lunch boxes that I got off Amazon. And we're going to start by painting them with fusion paint in the color cashmere. Now I'm going to be taking the Kindest Regards stamp set from IOD and stamping this lettering onto the lunch boxes using Ground Espresso Distressed Ink. And I believe it's an archival ink brand. I stamp the top of each box and then I'm going back and stamping the back of each box but instead of having the stamp lay on top of the box I'm actually putting the boxes themselves on top of the stamp. Now I'm taking the brand new Joie de Rose transfer set from the IOD line and I am going to be cutting up parts of this these transfers to put all over the box mainly in the spots that do not have the text but I do want some of it to kind of roll over and cover the text so it kind of blends together. Once I finish up all three of those boxes, I'm going to seal them with Big Top by DIY and here is a look at our finished project. Last 
project today is this furniture flip. I found this wooden desk at the thrift store for $12 and we are going to start by painting it in the color Heirloom by Fusion Mineral Paint. I am using a one inch artist brush for this mainly because of all of the smaller parts of the desk like the backs of the chair and the legs they it just makes it much easier to use a smaller brush so I don't have like bits and globs left on the chair while I'm painting. Once I finish up painting two coats of the heirloom onto this piece, I distress back just around the edges of the uh, furniture and then I am going to put a transfer on the back of the chair and here is a look at our finished project. I did seal this up with two coats of Big Top by DIY and I found a nice cushion to put on top. My kids are loving this little desk. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.